Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who is in our sixth year of homeschooling, which is what else, okay? Um, today, I'm gonna share with you a little bit of an in-depth look at woven melodies because I have had so much interest in that since I started talking about it. Guys, before I go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. You can find everything that I'm talking about linked down below in the description box. You can also find us down there in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So let's get into it, okay? Um, woven Melodies. I started hearing about it when I did a collaboration with the Secular Moms, um, who are amazing and wonderful. And we were talking about, I think it was, I think it was like our favorite curriculums. And a few of them mentioned Woven Melodies. I was like, I don't know what this is, but do I need it? Oh my gosh, I need it. I don't know what that is, but I need it. And then guess what? Okay, so of course, naturally I needed it. So what it is, is a year long multicultural music study. Okay, so what does that mean? I honestly don't know. But here's what I needed. We are not a musical family, like beyond the fact that we just like music. Like nobody in my house plays an instrument. We don't have a whole lot of like exposure to types of music, classes of music. Like we don't, I can read music. Both my husband and I were like in band, but like there's not a lot of exposure beyond that. However, both of my girls are dancing, they do ballet, they went to classical ballet training. And so they they have had a lot of exposure to different types of music. And, and it is very relevant in their lives because again, massive amount of dance, right? So as we're getting older, as I'm getting more comfortable in my ability to homeschool, because that happens when you've got a little bit more experience, right? And as the kids get a little easier, I thought it'd be really fun to incorporate something like this, like some sort of music study. And before jumping into anything, like any kind of lesson or instrument or things like that, I like the idea of learning about a lot of them. And so once somebody suggested Woven Melodies from Thistle and Biscuits over on Etsy, they also have their own dot com, um, I looked at it and it's a really gorgeous curriculum, first of all, like watercolor, hand paint, it's just stunning. It's very pretty, um, but it's also really nice and comprehensive. So it is a 36 week study. I think it's broken out into about nine units. Now you guys know, I have no intent to homeschool for 36 weeks in a year. Like, no, no, I don't wanna do that. So I am using it again, kind of like off suggestion, which is normally the case, but everybody always like forgets that you can do that but I'm not using it necessarily as it's dictated to use it because there's a lot of things. And this is, you know, guys know with every piece of curriculum I use, yeah, there's an additional book list. Am I doing that? No, there's um, a lot of like copy work and writing and things like, am I doing that? No, no, I'm not. Are we still learning? Yes. Are we still using it? Yes. Is it super awesome? Yes. And I'm going to get into how it's awesome and why it's awesome and show it to you a little bit. But I just wanted to give you that preface of I am not following the directions. Okay. And I just, you know, let's, for every, every video I make, I am not following the directions. Why? Because I don't want to do that much work. True story. True story. Anyways, so how are we using this? Well, we are officially from the time I am filming this into our second week of homeschooling, um, which means that we are now like doing, like we're really into it, right? So how am I using this? Here is my plan. It is 36 weeks long. Am I homeschooling for 36 weeks? I am not. So my plan is to basically shorten each three week unit into two weeks. And I feel like that will suit us very well. The way that it is intended is that it gives you a bit of a background and then you focus for the first week of a unit. And then you focus on a composer with that kind of instrument. So it's like a set of instruments, right? So like background, focus on the composer, and then that instrument like around the world, like different ways it's used and blah, blah, blah. So 
we are kind of not doing it that way. What we've done so far, and I'm liking this, is we have, and I will show you in a minute, um, our like workbook. And so I pull it up and we're going through like the history of the, the instrument. So far, we've only done mandolin. So we've gone through like the history of the mandolin. We're watching and we're listening. And then we went into some of the composer in that first week. Okay, so we did more of that in that first week, learned about the composer. Um, which was really cool because he was a homeschool student. That's how this all started. Um, and then for the second week, we did kind of like the follow up. So we had out the flashcards, which are stunning. And I foolishly accidentally made two copies, which meant I just laminated and cut out twice as much as I needed to, which was real annoying when I figured that out. And then I didn't keep them sorted. What was I thinking? I don't even know. Anyways, we have two sets of flashcards is what you need to know. Um, and I went through like a whole thing on like how to print it, how to print it better. And I printed a bunch of stuff and none of it worked. And then I gave up because printing costs right now are like bananas. God, they're bananas. So anyway, so finally I just gave up and printed uh, like normal and it's going pretty well. So we did like the recap kind of on the second week. Okay. So it was pretty fun. My kids were able to like draw their favorite kind of mandolin. And because the way that the curriculum is set up, it's set up with like links. Um, so I'm able to open it up, you know, as you guys know, may not know, our, our living room TV is actually a computer. So it's set up to a computer. And so I'm able to just pull it up from my Google Drive and click through the links and we can watch. So we learned about the mandolin, how it's changed and traveled through time. We learned about, you know, Greece, Greek styles and Italian styles and Indian styles and Irish styles. It was pretty amazing. So while we've been focusing on the mandolin, I am having Alexa play instrumental mandolin music all day while we're doing our schoolwork, like every day. And it's nice because like we know the different sounds that a mandolin could do. It has been so nice. It is gorgeous. The curriculum is so pretty, but also it's just been really fun to kind of branch out a bit and expand a little bit. So I'm gonna pop over and I will be showing you um, the, you know, the online features, just a little quick bit of it so that you can understand how it works and then a little bit of the workbook, but it is amazing. It is awesome. I really am enjoying it so far. So huge shout out to this Olympus Kids. Thank you so much. If you get a chance, go over there. Let her know I sent you. I don't have any kind of discount code or anything like that for you. It's just amazing. I thought it was awesome. Real life using it for my own homeschool. And, and if you're interested in something like that too, you should real life use it for your homeschool. But it's $26. So I mean, help a sister out and give her some support over there. Anyways, I think it's amazing. It's stunningly gorgeous. Why am I getting on to screen record the woven melodies and then realize that maybe one set of those flashcards I'm supposed to separate off the bottom so that the kids can match the right name to the right instrument? So super glad I filmed those because now I know how it's supposed to use it. Y'all read the directions, okay? Don't be like me. Read the mother, ignore them after that. That's fine. You do that. Read the directions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to follow them, but know what they are first, maybe. Don't be like me. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you our Woven Melodies printed workbook here. Now, I did print it all on cardstock just because I wanted it to kind of last. There are a lot of pages. It's so many pages. But it's really nice. It's gorgeous. Okay, so we do also have um, matching flashcards, which I didn't get out. Now, the first thing in here is their plan. And like I said, I'm, I'm actually condensing each three week unit into two. So introduction to the mandolin, then the composer, and then mandolin styles around the world. And so that's kind of where that goes. And it talks about the different things. Um, there's the diagram of the instrument, which is gorgeous. Then they can fill it in. The information about the composer, uh, which is really fun. This guy was actually a homeschool kid. Uh, and then their favorite mandolin. And then we went over the vocabulary down here. So there's basically just like nine different units of that. And it covers all kinds of stuff. Now in the back, there is um, copy work. So it tells you which lesson it goes with. Again, these are so stinking pretty. 
Uh, and you can do the copy work if you choose to. I don't usually do that. Um, but it's here if you want it. And then there's also a glossary of terms, which I think is really nice, especially as somebody who doesn't have a musical background. It's been really nice to have this. And I genuinely am learning so much. So I always love it when I get a little more value for my book by learning a little bit more with my kids. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. While you are down there, I will have the link to Woven Melodies. Feel free to head on over there. She has a lot of other stuff too. It's really pretty amazing. And this video is not sponsored. I, I'm getting nothing from this video other than the fact I really like this product. It's pretty amazing. And I really appreciate that it's an asset that we have to use. So don't forget to show me some love, but also scroll down and go show her some love. Bye guys.